This is Lee with 82 Gaming, and uh, <coughs> this is the third video over uh, <coughs> a playthrough of Ender White Fields and Tito from the Gamers, now MMP. Uh, designer is D uh, Dean Essing. It's part of the Civil War Brigade series. This was actual game number one. Uh, it's been redone several times, several editions. This is uh, the revised edition <coughs> of the first edition. And then they had <coughs> a second edition. And uh, with, the, with the new uh, rules, uh, I don't know if they've redone this yet or not so okay uh going on with the sponsor we've got uh i'm gonna say pro sound ampl amplifier uh the rechargeable improves amplification up to 30 times and uh you get about 20 hours of uh continuous use uh, as i said <coughs> before i wear them <clears throat> I think they're wonderful and a lot cheaper than regular uh, hearing aids. Uh, you can get these uh, for $29.99 at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. Okay, then we have Cetaphil, moisturizing lotion, dermatologist uh, recommended. I have eczema, and this works uh, great on uh, my eczema. I uh, also use their uh, bath products uh, to help to uh, contain my eczema. So both of these products are, are recommended by me. I use them, <coughs> and uh, I suggest that if you have uh, hearing issues, uh, hearing loss, that uh, you try MSA Pro. Uh, you can find more information online at earbasics.com. I'll put a link down in the information. Same thing with uh, Cetaphil. You can reach uh, them for more information at Cetaphil.com. Okay, a couple of things here I want to talk about before I get started with the six o'clock turn is opportunity fire. Now, <clears throat> I know in the rules, <clears throat> there's not anything really uh, discussed about opportunity fire. So <clears throat> I play the uh, Napoleonic brigade system and I really like it. I'm disappointed that uh, there's not more battles available with that system. Uh, <clears throat> and so that system also is the same scale. It's a brigade series. Uh, the hexes are uh, between 150 and 200 meters. Uh, troop size are the same. Uh, they're able to, uh, the artillery are able to use uh, opportune fire. Um, so, for example, let's see, I'll put this artillery piece here. And uh, let's just take a couple of units. Um, let's take these units here. One, two, three. We're not really paying much attention to uh, the uh, terrain. So they would have opportunity to fire a range of uh, three artillery out to three. So at any point, uh, say an enemy unit entered into that zone, then they would be fired on, okay? And the zone includes the hex that the artillery unit is in. 
So you'll be able to fire here, 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 and then here. I know that's a lot of fire, but you know, that's, you're talking about, uh, you know, you're, you're approaching uh, out in the open. You're gonna get devastated, okay, uh, with artillery fire. Now, uh, so it's only three hexes, but once you enter that, then, you know, that's 200 yards you're crossing. Uh, they got plenty of time to to find your range and, and fire upon you in each of these. And even in the hex, uh, you know, because you're looking at uh, that hex is 200 meters. You've got to go 150, 100 meters to get to them. Um, now with... Uh, Infantry is different. Infantry. So here's an infantry unit. And uh, let's see, we got some guys here of course they'd have to choose we wouldn't be able to fire to all of these um, uh, well yeah they would um, but uh, their range is not three but two so when a unit enters that second that hex two hex enters that two hexes away they'd be able to fire one hex away be able to fire and then also in the hex okay and again that's just you know the amount of time it takes to cross that uh distance um and they've got a range of of uh, that anyway in regular firing whether it be defensive or offensive firing they've got a range too so why not allow them have, have the opportunity to fire you come to that range and you're moving and you're trying to move through and, and uh, you know, uh, perform a, a close combat, you know, uh, without the opportunity to fire, they just storm right to the lines without taking any uh, casualties, you know, and when they actually get to the unit, you know, they're on top of them, you know, and that, the only unit that can fire now is this one, you know, that, what about... What if we had, uh, you know, somebody on the flank or even uh, he's large enough that, uh, you know, he's got uh, an extended line here, you know, not worry able to fire. Uh, it really put a lot of fire uh, onto these units that are just out in the open moving right, right to us. So operative fire, uh, even at this scale, I think, uh, it worked well in uh, the Napoleonic uh, brigade system, and uh, although you know infantry didn't have, but uh, we're talking about uh, more superior uh, infantry weapons. You know, we're talking about rifles here, um, not muskets. So, uh, and this would be, I think, would bring about. Uh, the casualties uh, that uh, you actually saw in these battles. So it's going to increase the casualties, yes. But um, that's, you know, we got to think Antietam was, you know, the bloodiest battle, the bloodiest day of the Civil War. So uh, that's just, it's just a house rule that uh, I like the Napoleonic series uh, and the fact that. Uh, It has opportunity to fire, and so I'm going to include opportunity to fire in my play uh, because I think it's more realistic. Uh, we're going to have a lot more casualties, uh, so you know uh, you need to really think about how you're going to uh, approach your uh, opponent and his forces think about Pickett's charge. And you get the reason why it's necessary to have opportunity to fire. 
without that, I don't think, uh, I don't know, Gettysburg, I've got that uh, game on, uh, do I have that? Well, I'll have to actually play that <coughs> and, and apply the opportunity fire rules that I'm using, which are the same rules that uh, Dean Essig came up with with the Napoleonic series. I'm not, you know, they're not rules I create on my own. The only thing is I'm just adding the uh, infantry where they have opportunity fire as well. Um, okay, so we've got the uh, 6 o'clock turn. And uh, we've got uh, some orders that are coming through. Uh, Mac has uh, a rating of zero uh, with that rating of zero. He's still able uh, to issue one order, a complex written order. And so that's what he's going to do. So we got order issue. And so he issues an order to uh, the 12th Corps. I mean, uh, not the 12th, the 9th Corps. Okay. Uh, goes from a MAC. It's a written complex order. Okay. And uh, it won't arrive until 7 o'clock. So we we'll have to check acceptance at that time. That's when it'll re reach Burnside. He's the left wing. Uh, the march uh, uh, K one and three divisions south and cross at Myers Ford. Attack the enemy uh, to uh, Harper's Ferry Road, which is right down here. March down here and attack to here, and then push up to Sharpsburg. Okay, um, and second division. Uh, which is uh, back over here, is to march to uh, North Rawbach and defend the Army's flank here. So, all right, and since uh, that was an order that was issued, we've got to up the McClellan point, so now we're at 12. Each time he, he issues an order, it goes up. So we had to issue an uh, order. Uh, we issued an order for the cavalry. Uh, so that uh, goes to here. And uh, so now uh, we've got that. Okay. <clears throat> we've got attack stoppage next. And we would need to check to see if... Um, let's pull over here. If Hooker's group here... Um, is uh that's over here attacking jackson's uh second second uh, core here at nunker church um so uh we'll take a look at uh whether or not we have a attack stoppage uh okay let's see here with the attack stoppage we're gonna have to do uh Okay, he's got a four. Number of divisions in the core. Let's see. Oops. Let's take a look at the union. Uh, he's got. Uh, he's got quite a few divisions here. Well, he's got one, two, and three. He's got three divisions. Nobody's wrecked. So, we've got to roll three or less. Three or less. I rolled a five, so no attack stoppage. Initiative order determination, order delay reduction. Okay, so let's see here. We had um, an order delay 
which uh, is going to be uh, the Calvary. I had a D5, and actually using the uh, 3.2 charge would be a uh, shouldn't be a D5. I think it's a would be a D2. I got a roll of one. I rolled a three. So that it, they don't accept yet. That would be these cavalry units over here. They're kind of slow to move. Pleasanton only has a one initiative. So, okay. We don't have any stragglers to mess with. Well, we do have strikers, but we're not. Uh, we don't have striker recovery replacement. Movement in close combat. Okay. So <clears throat> we don't have anybody really moving except for down over there. So. Let's see about moving our uh, thing here to maybe getting a closer look. And let's see here. Take this off. Let me sit this down a second while I get set up here. Start with that. Okay. Okay, here, let's see what we got here. Okay. We look at our... Shaken units cannot close combat. So, all right, movement though. Okay. It's cavalry unit. Oh. Oh yeah. Lost this artillery piece here. Um, this guy could actually. Move to here. And when he does, this guy can fire at him. So, we'll have that opportunity to fire right here. Alright, so that's range of two and this guy here is a AB so he can pour it he can pour A down on that, on that uh, range of two that'd be a two all right we rolled a 12 one and a half Comes a one and straggler loss is nothing, no straggler loss, but he does take a hit and he's got to check his morale. And his morale is 31, I think that's gonna 
Let's see what he is. He's a Sikh. Hoffman. Hoffman, C. Say, oh, no effect. Okay. But he does take a hit. So. Hoffman. Let's see where Hoffman's at. Now, so that was one, it's going up that, going up that slope, and that's a, a regular slope, it's not a steep slope. But the slope is just a plus one. So he goes to there. So one, two, three. Then these guys will be with a fire again. Got two. See about this. This guy here. Oh, he's he's not. Uh, he's lumbered. Okay. So we got a seven this time. So, and then he's able to move into that hex. Okay, so he's not going to be able. Yeah, he's not going to be able to fire. So. <clears throat> He's not able to fire. So then we're gonna have close combat. So. Close combat. Okay, so he, I guess he gets to fire, but he's at a minus three. So he's only got a one to start with. Yeah. So, minus three. Well, close combat be a two. Two. 
three, but just see, it's not able to fire. Okay. Now, he's a double A. It's not actually a double A because he's taking some hits. He's an AB. But an A, close combat, is an eight. So I might be able to just eliminate this guy through that. And we got a five, eight, five, yeah, that's it. So this uh, artillery unit is, is taken out. It's actually over here, let's put it up there. Okay. And this guy can change his, uh, He can change his uh, spacing, I believe, after. Okay, so he fixed his, uh, fixed that, this shaking guy is not going to move up to here. You know, he's going to move right there. Okay, let's pull back a little bit. Oops. Okay. This guy's shaking here. People to fire there. This guy went to there, so he wouldn't be able to fire. This guy can't fire. Hood can't. So we went one, two, three. So we joined. Three. Um, so this guy will get to fire. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, he's not going to be able to. So we were like this. So we go here. This guy's able to fire. One hex away. B. 
shaking the back one. And that old one is going to be shaken. So that stopped his movement. took a hit and it wasn't. Stops his movement. Okay. The day moves to see. Right there, lead is shaking. This is Ricketts, guys. One, two. four, five, you get fired on, this guy, one, two, this guy here, okay, this guy. So he's a... Well, he can have a C. He's got A, B. So A, C, C. Or B, B, B. That'd be what it'd have to be. All B's. So we've got, uh, oh, that'd be two plus two more is four. So, yeah, four. Then we get a seven is one, but nothing to see. I think you get a lot lost here. Okay, oh, where's my thing at? Fire this guy. He's got a B. And we have a roll of 13. A B. That's going to be bloodlust. Just put it on that one. He takes a hit, though. See so who is this? Hearts of Hearts of Yeah, Hearts of That's his first hit. Okay. Take this off. 
Okay. So next we've got uh, this guy. These are, the, these are these guys. Okay, I should have moved them with uh, Double Day. I think that's got Double Day, so let's move these guys up. These are Double Days. You got move, should have moved all these guys. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, This goes in column. That's why. So it's going to come out column. That's one, two, three. Okay, so stop a second. We've got opportunity to fire right here. Okay, so Stonewall Jackson. All right, it's five. What do we got over here? We got detached is just one plus their fire. Okay, they're gonna fire right here. So we've got uh, just attachment of one. And then this one here is a C. Wow, a two is one. Is one, that's two. Firepower of two. got uh, Tian, that's going to be a casualty, 36, I don't think 36 is going to be in effect, let's just go over and see 36, okay, so that's a hit, and stragglers, let's see here, uh, where are we at, right here, yeah, he's got a C. Jesus. One, two, one. One, two, one. Guri. Guri takes a hit. Okay. Spragler. Takes a C. He takes a Spragler. Okay, now we're actually going to fire at this one with this. So that's five. And then this guy. Oops. We're going to fire on that guy. So you talk about B. 
and B. That's two. That's four. Nine. Alright, we got seven. One, two, two hits. Forty-five, let's see, forty-five, he's a C. Forty-five, he's shape. Two hits. C, does he take any fragments? No. Is that dirty again? Yeah. Okay. We're back here to Rickett still. Got this artillery piece. We're going to come up the road right here. One, two, three. Gonna to move to there. Oops. here and deploy. There's bloodlust. Like so, this unit here What are you doing here? So back here, where was this guy? He was... Back here. Where he's at? Well, I think they were... We were in the process of moving. First core. That's the first core. Okay, that belongs up here somewhere. Okay, they were moving. Moving up this road here. Uh, so, so, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, this one here. One, two, three, four. 
five. Okay. Further back to these guys back here, they're in column. So really not much benefit whether you call them or not. One, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then he's flipping six. Uh, let's see what we got back here. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. those gas moved. Okay. So, it took a while. Now, we don't have any movement over here to do. Nobody gets to move, but we do have... Um, do have fire now so uh, we got uh, defensive fire and then offensive fire so okay we're gonna start down here to just to see if we've got anybody in range the visibility is five um, artillery can fire all the way out to ten but uh, we uh, we're going to check to see our range here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this guy here is attached. He's a two. He can see this guy here, so he can fire there. So we'll put a marker here. Um, they're both on the same level. Nothing blocking. So he's at five, range of five, and he's at two, so that's going to be, it's a half. So, you never know. Uh, I rolled a four. Nothing. Okay. So no going there. Okay, then let's see this guy here. Uh, he can fire there, I think. Nope, out of range. 
those guys are out of range. These guys are out of range. Okay, I gotta move up. Up here. Okay. Let's see what we got. They're out of range. <coughs> Five. <coughs> so now we gotta go back up to where we were at earlier. This guy's at a lower level, so he's really blocked, I guess. Firing through these guys, through these guys, so they're gonna fire somewhere else, like one, two, three, four, five. They're gonna fire right here into this woods here. These guys, they've got a three. One, two, three, four. Can't park those guys. Um, you can see these guys here. Came into the woods there. One, two, three, four, five. They can fire right there. So we're firing right here at these guys with this unit. So see, I guess I could use another block here. This guy is the fire. This is the target. We got three factors. Okay. He's in woods. I should tell something. No. Woods doesn't say anything about woods. So three range is uh, five is a half. And we got an eight. So he's got to check his morale. I think he's going to be okay. What do we got here? This guy here is a B. B, I wrote a 22. B is going to be no effect for that. Okay. So, this guy. I guess I'm going to have to use uh, something other than I don't have very many friends here. Could have just an orange. Had a lot of oranges. two guys are firing here at this bloodlust group here. So 
So we've got uh, five, two, three, four, five is gonna be one. And then we've got, this guy's a B at range two. It's gonna be a one. So that's two. Five, he's gotta check morale. 16, he's gonna be fine. Okay. So, no effect there. Let's move these. Okay, this guy. And this guy. So that's B. Gotta be We've got five fire points plus he's a C. Fire C two is a half. And we got five at a range of what one, two is three and a half, so we got three and a half. All right. Alright, we rolled a 10, 3 is going to be 1 and a half becomes 2, and they take, how many stragglers? going to be wrecked. So we got a circle here. And he's all the way down to an A now. And let us see what I say here. C.
is shaking. Stace is shaking, I guess. Okay. Uh, we got to add some more casualties here. Shoot. We've been doing that. I'll add that up later. Okay. These guys, we're going to fire at this guy. So that's one. Use a C. Two. Here, I need to come back over here. I didn't do this guy either. See more. Oops. Ripley here. There's an A, so we got an A. Has to check his morale. B. He's going to be fine. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, over here. I don't know if that guy can actually fire into him. Let's see. No, well, he can't. He's same level. He's at a higher level. But he's going to fire at this guy. Uh, and this guy here can't fire. So, who's this? That's oh, Anderson. And this guy. And he's going to be uh, a B. Okay, Anderson. So, one, two. A is going to be uh, 2. We roll to 6. Morale. We roll to 41. Anderson's what? Anderson. He's a B. So no effect. Okay, so now we actually get to fire with uh, these other guys here. This guy's shaking, he still gets to fire. That's Anderson, he's at AB. What's he at now? He's at A, so he's only firing with a B. At range two. That's going to be one. So now we've got their fire up there. And we got a five. No effect. Okay. He's not firing. This guy. Fire here. In the woods, firing up. Dury, he's wrecked. If you're wrecked, I don't think you can fire. 
Yeah, actually. You can close in. Combat ineffective. Now, what do they do though? Check morale. Ooh, we got a six six on this. Yep, on these guys, that's not going to be good. We got a B. Okay, a B, and I got a sixty six. It's going to be route back to straggle three. She's got to roll on the uh, better to roll on the gun loss table there. So, so we lose that gun. Just a detached the gun's lost. Okay, so he retreated. Okay. Bloodlust. She split like that. Well, we wouldn't able to. Okay, so it's only two C's. C at what, one, two? Pat, so it's going to be one. Okay, that's a six. One, we've got to check it around. 
This guy, Seymour, is going to fire at this guy, Seymour, is all the way down to just an A and B, so, A range 4, 1, it's going to be 4, we got a 9, it's going to be a hit, Stragglers. It's going to be one. Unless he's an A. I don't think he's an A. Maybe he is an A. Yeah, he is an A. So with an A, he's okay. But he does take one hit. And that's Ripley. RDH. Passes his morale. Okay, so now we can move over to uh, some of these uh, artillery. Barrages. We got this unit. You got this unit, this unit, and this unit. And I'll fire right there. Plus, this detached unit. No, he can't. He can't either. So it's just those three against that unit right there. Okay, so we've got five, five, and five. And the range, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we've got, it's gonna be three. Range for three. Uh oh, rolling 11. That's gonna be one and a half, so it's just gonna be one. So B, it's not going to take anything there, but a 63, disorganized back one. It took a hit. So, what do we got? D.H. G. Anderson. Top one here. Okay. And let's see if I go over here to this other side. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. None of these guys. Well, right here we can. Let's move all the way over here. 
see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, but this guy here, he's got a three. He can fire right there. Okay, so three, five, is a half. What's the chance? Rolls a seven and a half. Okay, we've got to check his morale, which is a C. And I rolled 31, shaking. He's shaking. Okay, let's count up the casualties here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We should have 10, so I'm going to adjust that. Not 10. Okay, and then on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Should have 17. 10 and 17. Okay. Okay, and I had two committed. So that's going to increase Akela's points by one. Okay. All right. So, let's move this over. Let's see what we got. Go back. Well, okay, so that's the end of, uh, That's the end of the uh, Union turn, 6 o'clock turn, and here it took me, what, an hour and 18 minutes, so we, uh, next we're going to have, uh, next, uh, Let's see here, how come these guys are... I guess I need to stop this one and just, uh, next video will be, uh, the Confederate, uh, turn six. So, I guess that's what I'll do, uh, take a little break here. For myself um all right so the next video uh will be uh the confederate um uh, turn 6 uh, a.m turn and i also have to adjust uh artillery here we've got uh fire three four the five would be five uh one two three Okay, so subtract three, one, two, three, right there. Okay, all right, so uh, that's the end of the Union 6 o'clock, 6 uh, a.m. turn. And so the next video will be the Confederates uh, turn. So I appreciate you uh, checking out my channel, uh, 82 Gaming, uh, and uh, look forward to uh, comments and so forth uh, feel free to subscribe uh, feel free to make comments uh, I know I make mistakes 
Uh, I'll try to clarify that on the next video uh, if I notice them. Um, but uh, this is a very interesting game series. It's had a lot of some changes to, uh, with the new system. Uh, line of, what is it called? Line of battle, I think. Uh, I haven't, uh, don't know anything about that. Uh, I haven't looked at the rules or anything. Uh, I know they're trying to stream some of the command rules. A lot of gamers uh, were unhappy with uh, attack stoppages and so forth. Um, but uh, I find this game to be very uh, intellectual for one thing. Uh, a lot going on. Um, the orders just add to it. You don't have total control of your units. Um, so you can't just move your units around wherever you want to you want to move them. You know, uh, you got to give them orders, and then they've they've got to uh, accept those orders and begin to implement them. And sometimes they don't accept them. Sometimes uh, they accept them and get started, and then uh, something happens and they stop. Just like in real life. Uh, so I find it more realistic this way, uh, and it really lends to solo play uh, gameplay. Because you can make plans and they just don't go your way. So, you know, maybe the, the plan gets gets started, but then it doesn't get accepted for a while, and it it fails because it didn't get there, uh, you know, when you wanted it to. So, uh, that's what I like about this uh, game series, it, even with the Napoleonic, uh, even though the the tax stoppages uh, occur so often. Uh, but it's a great system. The command system is the heart of the system. Uh, and the mechanics are, are the kind of flow. Uh, I like the uh, combat, uh, the firing. Uh, the only thing that I've, I've added to the Civil War is the uh, opportunity to fire that is in the Napoleonic series. So, All right, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.